Okay guys, so in this lecture I want to talk about the title tag. What is the title tag? What do we need it for? And how do we implement it into our website? So let's start from what is a title tag and where do we see it? So I searched for how to make a website faster and I got this result right here. Developers Google. Make the web faster Google developers. So this is basically the title tag of this page. This is the first place you can see the title tag. The second place you can see the title tag is in the web browser when you're in the page. I'll click the website and you can see here the same title tag. Make the web faster Google developers. So this is the two places the title tag is showing. If you want to see the title tag in the HTML of the website, all you have to do is just click the right button view page source and search for title there it is this is the title of the page you can see the opening title element and then the content of the title itself make the web faster google developers and the closing title tag so this is where we see the title tag so how do we know that Google actually needs it and uses it in order to rank our website in the search results? Okay, so you know I'm using many and many uh, Google sources in order to find out what do we need to optimize in our website. So if you'll search for a search engine optimization for beginners Google, you found out this PDF from Google. I'll go to page 4 and we see this create unique accurate page titles so Google are basically telling us to create a unique and accurate page title so if I'll scroll a little bit down you'll be able to see accurately describe the page content choose a title that effectively communicates the topic of the page's content. So basically what Google are telling us is the title basically describes the content on your page. That means that if the page title will have keywords inside it, keywords that we know that people are searching for, that will be very natural for Google because for example if you're writing a tutorial about how to use Photoshop so a good title will be how to use Photoshop or Photoshop tutorial. So even if this is a keyword that so many people are searching for, having this keyword inside a meta title looks very natural because it's accurately described the page's content. Okay, so four things we need to know about the title tag. So the title tag. This is how the title tag looks on HTML. For every page, you just click page source and you can see the title tag of every page online. The title tag should be 56 characters maximum because if the title will contain more than 56 characters, your title will be broken on page results. It will be broken in the middle and will show like three dots after it ends and it doesn't look good. Another rule you must have. The title tag should include one or two important keywords. Really, not having keywords in your title is just a waste of a title. Google are saying that they really use your title in order to understand what your page is talking about. So if you're not mentioning a keyword that you know people are searching for inside of your title tag, you are basically losing your potential to be ranked on this keyword and get traffic from Google. Another rule for title tag would be have a unique title tag for every page. So this is something we saw that Google are saying. But how to make sure all of our title tags are unique, that we don't have duplicate title tags? Or how do we know our title tags are not more than 56 characters? So this is Screaming Frog. So Screaming Frog is basically a tool that allows you to crawl 
any website online. So you basically just put your website URL here and press start. Now I can see all the pages in my website. I'll sort for HTML pages only, scroll a little bit right, and now I can see the title tag of every page on my website. So if you're sorting the title tags by order, you'll be able to make sure that you don't have duplicate titles, that all of the titles on your website are completely unique. If you'll scroll a little bit right, you'll be able to see the title length. So Screaming Frog is counting the characters of your title tag. For example, this title tag is 60 characters. So I might should have considered shorten it a little bit to 56 characters. But how do we implement the title tag in every page of our website? If you're using a CMS, any kind of CMS, you should find out where in your CMS there is a field that says fill your title tag here. If you're using WordPress, that will be the easiest way. For WordPress, you have Yoast plugin. You can download Yoast plugin from here or you can just install it through your WordPress system. The best thing about Yoast is that every time you create a new page or a new blog post, Yoast allows you to edit this title tag right here in this field, type any kind of title that you want. And even if you forget about this title and you put it blank, it will just fill out your page heading as your title tag. So doing this with WordPress would be easiest with Yoast plugin. So basically this is what we have to know about the title tag. It should have 56 characters maximum. It should include one to two important keywords because Google are really looking at your title in order to understand what your page is talking about. Third rule, it must be unique for every page and you can easily check it through Screaming Frog. So that's it for the title tag. This is what you have to know and the title tag is a very important part of SEO. So check all your website's title, improve them, make your keyword research and implement important keywords into your title. If you have a blank or empty titles, fill them. Google don't like pages with no titles. They can't understand what the page is talking about if it doesn't have appropriate title. So that's it for titles. Let's move on to the next lecture.